into some outrageous dinosaurs when we were time traveling to find a pollution solution. We visited some gnarly Neanderthals who made Mega Brain their king until the prehistoric people decided he was cosmically uncool. Then they put him on their mega menu for a cave bear's brain brunch. Find out what happens next. Watch alert system is signaling a sixth stage eagle alarm alert. Hey, what's all the racket out here? <laughs> I'm in the middle of some very important research on the origin of Earth or heavy metal rock music. And it's very strange stuff. Uh, what's up, witch man? Oh, oh, it was bound to happen, Mega Buddy. Air pollution on Earth has reached a critical level. Coal burning, power plants, too many gas guzzling transport units, out of control, oil well fires turning day into night, millions and millions of acres of precious rainforest going up in blazes, even the senseless burning of garbage that should be recycled. Um, uh, did you say something? Oh, mega brain. Soon smoke could completely cover the entire planet. Oh, I'd better consult the elders. Uh, what about the elders? What is it, Watcha Waggles? The Earthers are polluting their air faster than ever. I've got to do something before the planet is damaged beyond repair. You can make them aware and give them solutions, but only the Earthers can actually correct the pollution problem. But, but, bubbling betazoids and blasting diesel bunkers. Galactic gurus, what will happen if they don't? A little journey back into planet Earth's history might answer that for you. Try the end of the Earth's Cretaceous period. <laughs> That's over 65 million Earths or years ago. I wasn't invented yet, so I guess I'll just stay home. <laughs> Both of you will seek a solution for the future through a lesson from the past. That will be all. And watch out for the T-Rex lizard. They can be very bad-tempered. Whoa! Whooped out wild! Mega Brain, program the temporal power decelerator to the time of, uh, uh, what the elders said. Well, uh, 65 million years ago, that's the time of the gargantuan, giant, flesh-eating dinosaurs! Dinosaurs? Whoa! Here we go! Forward! Into the past! I 
afraid of this? It's right here. Tyrannosaurus Rex, also known as T-Rex. The name is Latin for King of the Tyrant Lizards. It's the largest meat-eating animal ever to stomp around on this planet. Question might be, when are we? Uh, I guess I'd better go dig up some data for my Earther artifact collection. Mega Brain, come back! Oh, but with Betazoids, I'd better rebuild this time travel device before modern Earth gets choked by its own pollution. What? Amazing! Primitive man, Neanderthals. We're still a hundred thousand years away from home. I think I'll follow him. Uh, uh, no way, Jose. I can't let you hurt those baby mastodons. Hey, Mama Mastodon, look! That's 
right, Einstein's. Water does put out fire. Sure. <laughs> Don't mind if it does come in. Please. What's a home with no food or fire? I'll get you guys out of this mess. What you need is this. <laughs> you think that was something? Get a load of this. <laughs> Now for lunch. A little of this and a little of that. <laughs> yes, and you can stand up and cook. <laughs> it makes for better posture. Voila, try this. <laughs> I've got them eating out of my hands. <laughs> hey, a brain could get used to this kind of treatment. Perhaps King Eubranius should help rule this early Earther kingdom. <laughs> I know. I'll teach them to speak with my intergalactic gap guide so they can do as I command. Oh, finally. Ah, oh, the temporal power decelerator is ready for time travel blast off. Uh, Mega Brain? Uh, where's that Mega Brain? You who Mega Brain! You who are Mega Brain! <laughs> Hail, Mega King Eubranius! Mega what? Oh, Mega Buddy, I've been looking all over for you. <laughs> no, 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 uh, no, no. I come in peace. That's my Mega Brain unit. That is Mega King Eubranius, maker of fire, maker of talk. Wait! Wait just a nanosecond. You're not supposed to speak words. They weren't even invented yet. Mega Brain, what are you up to? We've got to get out of here. We have a future Earth to save. Oh, gee, sorry, Witch, old pal, but uh, <laughs> I think I should stay here and rule my people. We mean supernovas. You can't stay here, Mega Brain. And these aren't your people. Sometimes a king gets no respect. Jumpin' Jupiter Mega Brain, come on! Let's get out of here. We've got a mission, remember? Uh, a witch, old buddy. You worry too much. I know this watcher thing is important to you. So, uh, why not watch over this place? Hey, maybe you could even save the saber-toothed tiger or the mastodon from extinction. King Eubranius, please, would you like help me with my cave painting? My subjects call Chowidge. Martian mud monkeys. He's lost his mega marbles. Pictures, eh? You want to see pictures? I'll show you pictures. This will dazzle you. Just switch it on. Aim it at the wall. Now here is an awesome future Earther pastime, video games. Wow, very cool. So, lots better than stooping over the old hot campfire, hey, Mark? Hail, Mega King Eubranius, you genius. All right, I'm going to get the shuttle and help save future Earth without you if I have to. I grant you permission, my old ex-master and friend, but please... Bow first. <laughs> ooh, ooh, that noise pains my hand. Ooh, this noise pollution is bad. Mega King Eubranius is responsible. <laughs> and this air pollution, I... <laughs> Why, I and smoke woke him up. We'd better go. It's all the fault of Mega King Eubranius. <laughs> You're no fire king. You've brought noise. you brought smoke. You are bad luck. Rain man, you must go. But, 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 but I brought you interstellar alien technology. A progress, even. And you'll notice you're not slouching like you used to. That's not that, huh? But because of you, the cave bear is now awake. And he'll only sleep again after he has eaten. Eaten? You mean chomp, chomp? Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, 
for these ancient Earth or history scientists. The famous archaeologist, Dr. Bufkonovich, is coming. Come on, let's hide, Megabee. What the? I've never noticed these before. Come, come here. I found a fossilized nest of triceratops eggs. What a discovery! Standing beside me is Dr. Bertonovich, a world-renowned paleontologist who, based on some new fossil findings, has a startling announcement. It is our new theory that dinosaurs became extinct due to air pollution caused by debris from an enormous crashing meteorite that blocked the sun's rays. Well, without clean air, plants could not exist. Without plants, animals could not exist. Many forms of dinosaur life suddenly disappeared. A tragedy that could repeat itself today with our terrible pollution problem. As a result of Dr. Bertonovich's findings, countries from all over the globe have joined together in a serious new drive to fight air pollution. Another small step for the awesome alien hero who's barely four feet tall and his ex-king brain buddy. And one giant step for mankind. Oh, when watching works, it sure makes a watcher's work worthwhile. <laughs> you said it, Witch. It's great to be a leader of good works. I should know. Well, I have only one thing to say to that, Mega Buddy. Ooga, booga. <laughs> <laughs> 